what's going on guys and welcome to your 41st JavaScript tutorial in which we'll be looking at another method called match now you're gonna use this match method a lot so do follow this tutorial very carefully so let's say if you want to match a string inside another string so in the last tutorial with the search method what it does is it would return you the index position of your occurrence if that occurs but what if you want the search res results themselves to get re responded back by this by a method now for that we have match and let's see how that works so let's say we have a variable a and let's say it's a bunch of random string and some alphabets with some numbers cool now let's say I want to get this number right here to be matched so what I'll do is I'll do our result one is a dot match and inside this I would directly write the regular expression instead of just writing it in another variable just to sp uh, save some space now let's write down this number as the expression now let's use another uh, variable so that you can actually learn the differences between a dot match and a dot search now let's alert both of these or why not just document dot write these so let's say res1 plus a little bit of space and res2 now here's the document and let's reload this now we have this number right here with a space and then seven now what does what does that mean is for the search we got the index number which is zero one two three four five six and the seventh one but for the match one we got the string itself now if I do like something which is not available and the same thing which is not available in the string and let's reload this now we get null and minus one as results so why the heck is match useful actually now to so, uh, show you the uses of match I have to use a certain kind of regular expression which I'll be teaching you in the next tutorial don't worry about that and that is matching the digits in a string now I would be teaching all this in the next tutorial but just for your knowledge know that regular expression d this uh, backward slash and a d matches digits in a string so for now the string is a1 which is this one and now let's alert res1 now notice that i haven't used any of the digits so this could technically mean any of the input which a has so let's reload this and we get 3 now what does that 3 means that in its regular expression the first occurrence of a digit is 3 and why didn't it return whole uh, number and then this number and this number and that we would look in the next tutorial by using special characters in regular expression but just know that we are just matching this first occurrence of a digit in this regular expression using the forward slash and a d so that's all for this tutorial for the match one and remember this match function which I told you in this tutorial because I won't be explaining it, explaining it again in the next one so that's all for this and I'll see you then goodbye and take care